Go to badboymembership.com. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com. I love the interview, Max. I think that'll be a dope-ass interview. Hit yeah. more Stephen A. Yeah. I think it'll be real dope. Yeah. Get on it, Deani. Today, please. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking over here on the Hip Hop Essential Podcast on this one today, Tuesday afternoon, man. Hope y'all enjoying y'all summer. And last day, man. Last Let's day. For Let's, Let's talk about Boosie on the Breakfast Club. Now the Breakfast Club tried to try to gang up on him. They tried to put him in a corner, and I think Boosie he maneuvered his way out. That shit like like Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think they they you know they they kind of took took the boot off his neck. They probably could have went a little deeper with it. But um, how do you feel about? You know how they uh, approached Boosie about his comments about um, Little Nas X. They tried to jet our mind trick him. Now here's the thing: like, no one is sitting back. If if Bootsy came out and said, "I don't approve of who he sleeps with. I don't do this. I don't do that." Okay, that's different. That's right. not even. But dude was about to get naked on a a national stage, and he just made a comment: "Boy, you better not. I'll beat your ass." Now I don't think he meant it literally, but he was saying it. Nah, you're not about to put that in front of my kids. And then Charlemagne, well, what about the drug use and hip hop? What about this? Which is all true. Yeah. But when you compare it to this situation, it's like, come on, dog, don't throw to. that in here right, right this second. We know that that's an issue. We could talk to Bootsy in particular about that, but y'all don't ever bring that up. Right. When that conversation needs to be brought up, you've never brought it up in the past, but now you want to bring it up when an argument comes to this situation when no one is, it's not a, a homosexual versus heterosexual thing. It's something being pushed. We talk about we don't want it around the kids. It's not a kid's issue yet. We celebrate. No disrespect to the Wade family. A, a young child, a 13-year-old, 14-year-old child who decides that they're going to change their entire sexual preference altogether. And we celebrate that. There's things in there that's kind of weird and right. kind of wrong. And we got to address that. Nobody's telling adults what to do with adults and do what they do. But we're talking about things that are being pressed on the youth and the kids and people that are impressionable. And they kind of mixed that up with some other shit, and I ain't like that. And then the way Charlemagne kind of did it, it's like, yo, two wrongs don't make it right, dog. Because if all right, we do got these issues, yep. now you over here sound like, okay, they doing it, so he could do it too. Nah, dog, that ain't the way it works. We gotta cut all, we gotta nip everything in the fucking bud mm -hmm. and say this is messed up, this is messed up. The gangster rap, drug promotion, and this shit they trying to push on the kids is messed up. I don't want my kids listening to none of that. I don't want my kid listening to how to uh, the, uh, um, drink lean, yep. pop pills. Or men dancing naked in the bathroom. Yeah. Or WAP. Them talking about over-sexualized stuff. None of that. So it all got to be caught out. You you know, like you said, Jedi mind trick. And um, he was definitely, you know, witty enough to get out of it. But I, I didn't like how Charlemagne, you know, um, did that. Even though a lot of people say it was a great point. But two wrongs don't make it right, my dude. Like, we calling all that out. We should be calling everything out at the end of the day. You know what I mean? And um, a lot of these guys, too. I think Neef kind of made this point semi. Like, people, everybody's different. Mm -hmm. Everybody's not the boss. Everybody is not going to be the conscious rapper. Some dudes is just going to be from the hood. And they're going to rap about their experience. They're going to get their money. I'm fine with that. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, don't mean we can't call it out and say with the influence that they have. Right. But I'm fine with that. But I'm also fine with you know rappers talking about positive things and kids gravi gravitating towards that. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, man, um, we know that all of it's an agenda, and we're against all of that at the end of the day. What I don't like is, is and correct me if I'm wrong, people out there are, oh, if you know. Right. I've never heard the Breakfast Club speak on these issues before when it comes to the over-sexualization of men or women in hip-hop. Come on, bro. When it comes to <laughs> overuse of or talk on lean. They talked about some of their best records. They talked about this, some of that, that. Right. But they've never had an artist sit on there across for them and go do you think you talking about lean is harmful for the community or harmful i've never heard them do that right so now all of a sudden because now this situation this conversation is popular and there's money behind it and all this shit now we want to bring up issues that we know have been plaguing the community and plaguing us within our music and our genre for decades at a time but now we want to bring it up when it comes to this that shit was just, it was jedi man it was it was slick yeah but uh nah not everybody's buying it and if anybody had the all time and do that it's them i mean you can ask you know what i mean some people might not want to go there right you know what i mean but them it's like you got to go everywhere you go everywhere with everything else you got to know what you know people's button panties and shit smell like and yep. 
smell people's farts and all that. Oh, like, you know, yeah, thing. like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all paying with butts and stuff, passing it around the studio, but you can't ask about, you know, yeah, you know, um, people promoting all this stuff in their music. And then y'all sit up here and y'all defend little Nas X. And then I don't like how you try to make it like, all right, you know, you saying that could be encouraging like violence or homosexual. I ain't like that. That's not true. Yeah, I, I ain't like that. that that's an isolated incident where he's like, you know what I mean? Then he clarified it. Like, even if it was, you know, uh, um, Anybody up there naked. I don't want my kids saying that. You know what I mean? But the way Boosie was saying it's like, come on, dog. Like, it's almost like your son. Mm -hmm. He talking a little nonsense like a son. Like, you don't be doing that. I'll whoop your ass. That's some bullshit. You know better. Mm -hmm. That's how Boosie's saying it. Now, I don't know hateful shit. That's how I see it. Now, what you do. Now, let, let, me, let me give a prime example. He was talking about doing this on a national stage, right? Mm-hmm. If he wanted to do that at his show, because I've seen some shows with some R&B singers and stuff. They get freaky with their audience. There's a lot of females in there. They do their thing. There's right. no cameras in there. They could do their thing. If you are selling out a crowd and you got people buying a ticket to go and see that very oh, yeah, thing, right, right, right. and there's adults that want to pay to go see that very thing, right. bro, do your thing. Go up there butt-ass naked if that's what people are expecting. Right. Don't go out here on a public stage with kids that want to hear Old Town Roan and show right. them butt-ass fucking naked. Yeah, that's totally That's different. the difference. Yep. And don't try to play a game with people say that that's wrong and go oh well, you're being homophobic that's yeah bullshit yeah if you want to buy a ticket to go watch me go out there butt ass naked swing around with a bunch of men butt ass naked then that's your right and if right. you pay then you know what you're getting in store for but don't just go and do it on don't the public force it on the kids. kids that don't know dog right that's what we're talking about don't try to play the game man. right because at the end of the day you might have a kid up there that's like oh, i want to see little oh you're gonna be on a bt award oh he did old town country road mom let me watch this Next thing you see, he's putting his tongue down another man's throat. It's like, whoa! Wasn't expecting that. Whoa! Yeah! What's going on? <laughs> right. And then now you can bring up a whole slew of questions because the kid may not have saw that before, may not have been accustomed to that. My, my daughter, I ask my all the time, what did that? I seen a dude in a dress. That ain't that. That's oh, not normal, man. right? I'm like, nah. You ain't never seen me in one, right? Man. Nah. That's like, crazy. you know what I'm saying? She's asking because she knows mentally something's like that's right. off to her already. Right. But that's another that's another topic for another fucking day. Yeah, man, definitely. But yeah, man, we're gonna digress. You know, uh, one more one more thing. Let's talk about this crate challenge, man. Today, mm -hmm. um, that's been going around. You see a lot of people do it, and to me, it just proves how much people are just followers, man. Yeah, like they were like it could be like a bridge challenge. They might jump off a bridge, man. You know, they would for a view. For a view. So, so what do you think about the crate challenge? The people getting ripped. I hate it. Like, I don't like it. And I don't mean to sound dumb and old and stuff, because I know a lot of people get a lot of jokes out of it. But I see a bunch of us up there running around and flying off fucking crates and just for the entertainment of everybody else. And I'm tired of trend setting trends that at the end of the day do nothing for us. Right. Like, we, and, and I don't even want to be too political or too, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it's like, come on. We, we set all these fucking trends out here all day long, all day long, all day long. But what, is, what do we get out of it? I'm, I'm a big I'm, I'm I'm really big on that. Like, if we're gonna put out energy, what are we getting out of it? Right. You know what I'm saying? And I just don't really see what's getting out of it. Yeah. Ain't nobody gonna remember you tomorrow. Nope. And you just fell off a fucking crate and tore your ribs up for nothing. <sighs> Man. Anything, knees and everything. Like <laughs> shit. Ah, shit. I ain't fucking with that. Shit we used to do as dumbass. Shit we used to do as kids. Yeah. Where you get all them real crates right now? Yeah. Fuck, fuck you stand in a that? supermarket or something? <laughs> Twenty seven crates and shit. How y'all find them shit? I don't know, man, but just some other, you know what? Yeah, definitely. But yeah, man, we're going to digress, you know, um, on this particular show today. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's your brother Sam and Viral Hip Hop News. I'm your brother, Oh God, Hip Hop News Uncensored, together with the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. Make sure that you guys listening to this, man, hit the five star rating and leave yeah, a comment. To let us know how much you rock out with the podcast. With that being said, man, let's get out of here, man. Over and out. Peace.